so now this is my key clock let me log in to this okay now we are in the realm settings and in one of my video i explained the whole realms right how it works okay all the tabs you can see these are multiple tabs uh, you can see right so all these steps i have explained but again let's go to the email because we and this video is specifically for email so i am talking about the email settings if you are having your own email uh, smtp server right then you can enter the host here then port then this is the sender email address so mostly it would be an admin or any other email address right which your organization is using and then again some features like display name reply to display name then if reply you are looking for a reply right for example if the user get a mail right and he can see like to whom he is replying right? that address you can give then enable ssl if you are enabling ssl then start tls if you want to enable and enable authentication for example if i am using my google account here right then I enter the host as Google SMTP server details. Then in enable authentication, I need to use my own credentials. Okay. So for this demo, uh, I'm using a very lightweight client. This is a mail hog client. Basically what it will, it will do, it will hog all the mails, right? Whatever the mails your system is sending, it will capture those mails. Okay. Now you can see that uh, it is binding to address uh, for SMTP it is using 1025 port and for HTTP where we will open our in the browser it is 8025 okay so now let's do the configuration for this mail hook so because the server is local host yeah we have taken it and for SMTP it is saying 1025 port from display name uh, you can say key clock admin from tagginess at gmail.com okay reply to display name key clock admin only then reply i am saying reply to same id okay so yeah so we are good here so you can test the connection you can click on test connection you can see success smtp connection successful email was sent okay so let's open our mail hog localhost 8025 yeah so you got the email right so this is how you uh, do the email configuration for key clock okay so you can uh, for if you want to do it for google you need to make some changes in your google account you need to make less secure because these days like google not these days but I think it's from a long time they have made this uh, things uh, uh, difficult okay because of security reasons so if you want to try out these features I will suggest go for this kind of uh, SMTP servers okay so now we got this email right so we are good to go we will save it